Hello everybody, this is the Cyberbard and welcome back to another Tyranny episode. And today we are going to continue from whence we left off. Let's take a look at our quest log. So we've got a few ways that we can go at this point. We've got into the Maelstrom. Graven Ash wants to kill Stratus Herodin and end the magical storms. He's asking us to travel the Sentinel Stand and see if Kairos' winds have abated enough to allow entry. So that's one of the things that we can do. At the same time, Tuan is a little concerned and they want us to do a little bit of spy work for them and find out who is traitorous. Is there somebody who betrayed the, uh, the Empire? Is there just complete incompetence on both sides? So we are to investigate the disfavored in the Scarlet Chorus. We have another quest called Stirring Visions, whereby we need to essentially try to 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 uh, take control of the spires that you have across the land. So we have to investigate them. We have to get the Lethians Crossing uh, Spire. And then we have a Scarlet Chorus Troublemaker. The Disfavored want him to get chopped. So I have to travel there, subdue him before he breaks through defensive line and escapes. Let's travel to Kaido Village to confront Mouth Breather Nephzio before he escapes. So let's go to that place. It's sorry, it says Sentinel Stand. No, it is ba -ba 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 -ba, Kaido Village. So let's make our way to Kaido Village. We are going to head over there now. Because I just realized that this is a time-sensitive thing, so we should probably do that. Spire, blah, blah, blah. Where are we right now, actually? That would probably be a good thing. I haven't looked at the map in a little bit. We are at... Iron Hall Trail. Sunset Spire. Where is Kaido Village? Iron Hearth, Sentinel Stand, Cacophony. Hmm... That's the Bastard City, Kaido Village. We are going to head down there. So let's hop on over. All right, you little mouth-breathing bastard. This is the one that we're going to go and give the chop to. Pardon the sniffles, it's uh, allergy season which has commenced. Seems quiet. Too quiet. Something's wrong here. I don't like this one bit. Throw down your weapons, mouth breather Nefcio, and I give you my word that you and your men will be brought back to Ash unharmed. Only to face hard labor or the executioner's axe? Would Ash just forget about the caravans we hijacked? You think you can just sweep that under the rug? The soldier softens her tone, but you can detect an undercurrent of something dangerous. I don't deny that you will answer to Graven Ash. His word is law, and you will find yourself subject to his mercy. Mouthbreather Nefcio barks a fatalistic laugh. I'm already familiar with Ash's mercy. He doesn't tolerate the Scarlet Chorus, no matter if we had a decorated career. I could earn my name ten times over under the voices of Nerat, and it wouldn't matter in Graven Ash's estimate. As far as he's concerned, we're just brigands and pirates, and he grudges us for fighting in his war. This one is a fair point. Graven Ash never wanted the Scarlet Chorus to join the invasion, and only ever saw us as an obstruction. Hmm, perhaps this is a, a time to to mend some bridges. Makes you wonder how he would have fared on his own. I wager the disfavored would have fought themselves into extinction. Barak says, or into a better organized conquest, free of the division or disagreement. Conjecture is pointless. We will never know. It's true that the Scarlet Chorus were critical to this campaign. I'm glad that someone thinks so. A girl can't help but feel that the Scarlet Chorus don't get their due. She nods to the argument. This is about to get interesting. Debate all you want. You have nowhere to go. Drop your weapons or die here where you stand. 
Mouth breather and SVO says, sucks to your options. I have a better idea. His whistle pierces the silence. Get her, boys. All right. Well, time to uh, get some stuff done. All right. You, my friend, get quilling. You're going to get taken down. You. Ooh, that's what I want. I want to sunder. I'm going to sunder your ass. Can't do that. You'll have to hit harder than that. One at a time. One at a time. Will do. Me. And now, finish it off. All right. So, what the heck is going on now? I guess we talk to these guys? Kaipera. Shouldn't have anywhere else to run. I guess we completed the quest. Um, he's retreated into a settler's home. Follow him and deliver justice. Okay. We can do that. All about delivering justice. So which home did he retreat into? Was it here? I believe it was. <laughs> All right. Let's see what these guys have to say. No way out is right. Hey you, I'm assuming from that look on your face you're not here to help me escape. His eyes eye you he eyes you with suspicion. <clears throat> so here we go. <laughs> Turn yourself over to the disfavored and be spared. I'm sure we can come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. Let's see what that has to say. Hmm. So unfortunately, I don't mean that as that an insult. It's actually quite a refreshing. What did you have in mind? I'm trying to determine what would be the best way to go here. I want the wisdom of centuries. Die, you motherless onion. Okay. Well, you, my friend, have just put yourself in a world of shit. We're going to deal with that blood chanter. You, sir, are going to... Sunder the Blood Chanter. You. I'm going to let you two go and have fun. Let's get the Chanter first. Because they're going to do a lot of damage. I think that we can deal with this if we take out the, the Chanter first. There we go. You're next. Take out the Bloodhound. And lastly, Mouth Breather. On it. That's enough out of you. What do we got here? Blood Chanter Leathers. That might actually be good for uh, our scholar friend. Got it. Hmm, Bronze Ridge Helm. Let's take that. What else have we got in here? Anything secret, perhaps? So, who do we report to now? Uh, return to Akalos at Iron Hearth. Okay. Not bad. Alright, let's let them know that we're cool here. Alright. Damn right you owe me some thanks. Let's head to Iron Hearth and see what kind of reward we may get for this. 
we are going to have to head back uh, to the same place as before, unfortunately. Hopefully we don't get ambushed here. Good. Perfect. Let's see what happens now. This should get us a fair amount of favor with the disfavored. Say that ten times, ten times fast. One thing about this is that sometimes the load times can be a bit of a problem, but otherwise it's not too bad. Okay. I'm not sure who we have to talk to. Let's go up this way. I, I forgot which way we gotta go. It's an iron walker. Halfway's dead. That's not who we want to talk to. Alfonsa. Is it Alfonsa? Akalos. Okay. So we gotta go back this way for sure. I think Akalos is more in the inner sanctum area. Is Akalos up left? I think they might be. Let's check. Because I think it's Graven Ash that's inside. Akalos, is that you? No. Zephalos. So we got a bunch of people, but not who we're looking for. Stone shield, stone shield, stone shield. There's Graven Ash. Iron Walker, Iron Walker. Where's Akalos? The hell are they? <laughs> I'm having trouble finding this person. The hell is Akalos? Did I go back to the wrong place like an idiot? Iron Hearth. That's where we are. <clears throat> so where the hell is Akalos? On it. <clears throat> I'm sure I just missed them. Like I'm just being terrible. Akalos? Nope. Let's see. Let's talk to this person quickly. Nope, not that one. Let's talk to that one. <laughs> Um, where were they during the conquest? Let's see if I can get a little... Okay. Nothing new there, unfortunately. I'm trying to move this story along, but it's a little bit difficult when you don't know where the, um, the target is. Akalos has to be somewhere on this side. There's no other way... Ovenus, Fox Trick. Akalos has to be around here. So Stone Shield, Stone Shield, Alfonsa, Halfway's Dead. There's got to be an Akalos up here. Is this him? There you go. I was right the first time, but I'm just terrible. <clears throat> 1,700 rings. That's a lot of money. <clears throat> One less reason for me to look over my shoulder. Here you go. Fair payment for a job well done. Let's milk it. So I gained 9 subterfuge skill experience, which is what I wanted. Are you an assassin or a sworn, sworn servant in the court? Don't answer that. If you're confused about the difference, then I don't want to hear about it. Take your blood money. Excellent. Good. So... Who leveled up here? Verse. Beautiful. Let's give Verse a little touch up. So Verse is very much a finesse character, but 
Let's see. Let's increase her quickness just so that way she's uh, she's able to use her abilities more often. I think that that's a good thing for her. Perfect. Save that. Now, Verse is very much a duelist. Uh, I don't care about about a killing spree. That's not so great for me. Uh, weapon damage while dual wielding. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see. Counterattack enemy enemies that miss her in melee combat. Um, let's get her that passive damage to start. Perfect. That should do. We're going to save the game. Beauty. All right. Let us get so back to our other quest now. And we'll see what we come up with. Okay. So, uh, let's actually get out of there for a second and check the journal. So we want to go into Sentinel Stand Keep. Yeah, so that's where we want to go. Sentinel Stand. Let's make our way over. This is it, right? No, that's the Bastard City. Uh, Iron Hall Trail. Kaido Village. Where is Sentinel Stand? What were we doing up here? I think we were going to the... Uh, to the Spire, perhaps? Ah, well, let's go to Sentinel Stand right now. Or not. Sorry, I'm having a little... Crisis of conscience here. I'm not sure where I really want to go. Um, let's see. Into the maelstrom. Stirring winds. Uh, visions, pardon me. Yeah, that's uh, that's not a bad idea. Let's go to the spire. So we want to go to Lethian's Crossing. All right. Now we have a better idea. Let's do that. Holy crap! That's really far. Screw it. I'm going here. It's really close. We're gonna do it now. Oh no! An ambush. I'm not terribly frightened because honestly our, our party is quite strong. As long as I'm I'm careful in how I plan it. Oh, what the hell are these things? Kills in shadow. Before you towers a massive creature of fur and flesh, her short black snout snuffling in the air. Ooh, if I could get these on my side, that would be interesting. Know this scent. Stench of blood sweat battle. Iron and death. Smells like Alpha. Smells of strength. But is male. The beast woman cocks her head to one side, eyes bright with curiosity and red as fresh blood. Those eyes rove your body up and down, darkening with a sudden heat, with the look that a predator bestows its Have prey. Have stalking human trail. Have ranged many more than five nights through tribe and human territories of Tears land, hunting for human court, fate binder. For human who woke a rising rock called Mountain Spire. You're very well informed, Beast Woman. Have hunted hot high, cold low, wet dry. Traipsed far until paws bled. But always human who smelled of Alpha evaded Beast Woman. Had to slink through shadows, fast, fast, quick, without rest to catch delicious prey at last. I'm not your prey. She tongues her blade-sharp, discolored fangs and exhales a pleased growl. Your markings must be from Fate the Shadow binder. Hunter type Those tribe. tribes of beast women. Curious human. Male who smells of Alpha and knows of Shadow Hunter tribe. Best tribe. Lost tribe of kills in Shadow. 
Her eyes pin you with lust, the look of a wolf that's found a hare. Interesting. Now, I don't want to act like prey. Introduce yourself properly before I lose my patience. And beast woman, and best hunter, kills in shadow, daughter of mystic brood mother, relic, alpha to pack of stone whelps. I'm wondering if I should slap her in the face. What is it that you want? <clears throat> Humans. No human called Fate Binder. Kairos breeds words on paper. Fate Binder binds words to earth and sky, makes ground tremble, makes night cry, blood and fire. Hmm. This sounds too weak. I'm going to say Tribes nothing. Of Kairos fear Fate Binder. Human Alpha claimed Horizon Rock called Spire, and Archons did not kill Fate Binder. Archons rolled over and wide, covetous. <laughs> okay, so maybe you've heard of me. <laughs> Kairos hunts human realms to extinction. Rules tribe of blood and ruin, starvation and death. Seeks to slaughter beast women like prey. But beast women are not prey. Are not flighty, feeble-minded humans. Kills in shadow spits a gob of tawny mucus on the ground. Oh, lovely. Beast women are savage hunters. Red to fight Kirut, like fate binder who smells of alpha. I certainly don't mind a fight kill rut now and then. Strong always kill weak, then grow weak. The killed is migration of life. But kills in shadow is not weak now. Will not be weak for many long seasons. Will join Fatefinder and survive Kairos' tribe. If you want to join me, it'll have to be as my beta. Kills in shadow is not beta. Even alphas submit to stronger willed primas. Many oh, many I think I did this. Is this not a thought humans also understand? Beast women will follow Fate Binder. Will not dominate. Ooh. Unless Fate Binder begins to smell weak. No, I won't risk you turning on me. I want some assurances first. Claude fingers etch the length of a furrowed scar on Killin Kills and Shadow's cheek. Her eyes, red as fresh blood, regard you with deadly interest. You will swear your loyalty to me. Hmm. I think that this would be best. She seems to respect us wanting to know more about her people. And I don't want to make her give up her tribe. That would be a dangerous move. You will provide me insight on matters regarding your kith. Alpha is a clever hunter. Kills in shadow approves. Will help fate binder study and stock quarry. Will paw 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 around slippery ice issues. Excellent. You'll swear your loyalty to me as well. Her nostrils flare wide as she sucks in a deep breath. Her eyes flick to one side before settling back on your face. Swear! Won't kill fate binder while fate binder sleeps. Welcome to the pack. Kills in Shadow will not shelter stone whelps anymore. Scamper run flee! Do not want to see shadows lurking, stalking behind. Barb cleft his leader now. Will not like if Kills in Shadow catches sight or scent of stone mongrels again. Excellent. So she can join our party. She is quite interesting, but I'm not going to have her join yet. 
Or you know what? Perhaps I will. I would kind of like to have her in here as opposed to Barrack. That could be neat. Actually, you know what? No, I really like the dynamic of this party. Let's accept this as it is. That's right. Run away. Very, very cool. The great spikes of the blade grave provide cover for soldiers and beasts alike, making them perfect sites for ambushing unwary travelers. Very, very cool. So there's something here. There's an item of some kind. What it is, I don't know. But there's something here. I saw something. Aha! Excellent. Waking death and blood moss. Hmm. Ooh, waking death is useful. And there's something else here, too. And we have an agate. Excellent. That was a profitable ambush. We didn't get attacked. Very cool. All right. So now that we've made it here, let's have a little chat with our party members before we take on this new quest. I'm very curious to uh, to see what they have to say. So how do I talk with the party. Ah, I click on this little guy. Let's talk to Barrack. so, civil war divides the armies of mighty Kairos. The reckoning that comes of this failure will be great indeed. We find ourselves in the darkest times. Brothers and sisters who fought for a similar cause now skewer each other over blighted lands in the favor of distant powers. Back what would you have done, Barrack? the only logical choice. Graven Ash is the only Archon worthy of your confidence. And you were wise to recognize as much. Naturally, I would have done the same. Whatever others might say about what happened in Vendrian's well, you acted from instinct. I can't help but respect that. Okay. Got a little loyalty there. That's good. What do you have to say, Lantry? At least in theory, I'm supposed to be observing history and not getting myself wrapped into it. All the same, this is the thrill of a lifetime. Rarely does one stand so close to monumental moments in the making. If given the choice between a multifaceted hive mind of treachery and a surly old soldier, General Grumps is the wiser choice. It's patently obvious which Archon is truly loyal to Kairos. Interesting. So, I must ask, are you planning on taking sides in the Civil War? Or do you have other plans? I'm a servant of the Archon of Justice. That much has not changed. Dutifully spoken. It is Tunon's duty to arbitrate matters between the Archons, so this rift between Ash and Narat <clears throat> certainly falls under his jurisdiction. And here you are, thrust in the middle of the dispute. No doubt the mighty adjudicator will be relying heavily on you to get to the truth of the matter. Whatever you do next, Consider that many eyes will be upon you, for you have both delivered and taken away the Overlord's edicts, and few will know how to make sense of the latter. You are an exception the Archons cannot afford to ignore. They will likely aim to control or destroy you. Have you ever heard of edicts being broken before? Most of Kairos's edicts were either worded to end in a manner of the Overlord's choosing, or the edicts have simply continued in perpetuity. That's not to say there haven't been stories of broken edicts. They're just uncommon. Hmm. The oldest is, I think, Goldbraith and the Edict of Sorrows. And that tale dates back to around the year 110. Aside from you, the most recent was the Edict of Twisting Grasses, back in 380. Interesting. In all these stories, Kairos' edict very clearly gives its victim a single way to escape. And someone manages it. What's never happened is the pure abatement of an edict, like using a spell of warding or cancellation. Interesting. Let's move along. Let's talk to Verse. So, the Scarlet Chorus and Disfavored are at each other's throats. 
<laughs> Can't say I didn't see that coming, but the Archons might have waited until one war was over before they started another. Hmm. Fighting with the disfavored. Well, not the call I would have made, but I'm sure you have your reasons. If you like iron weapons or something about that purple uniform excites you, then be my guest. So I don't have much fear with Verse. I've got a lot of loyalty, Who though. can say? War is all about compromising your morals, deciding who lives and dies. What seems like a mistake turns into your greatest call down the road. Truth. Let me make one thing clear, just so that there aren't any misunderstandings. You support Graven Ash, and I couldn't care less. I'm here because you've done what none of the Archons could. Not even the voices of Narat would fault me that. He's also a complete bastard, and I wouldn't <clears throat> want to miss an opportunity to stab him in the gut and take control of his army. So, there's that. I'll say this much. Our time together is anything but dull. My blades are yours for as long as you'll have me. What do you need? Hmm. I'm going to say to Barak and Verse, have either of you noticed that you fight particularly well together? The thought has crossed my mind from time to time. During the many battles of the Conquest, we found ourselves standing back to back with enemies on They do on have an interesting on more than one play off of each other. The big guy here is as useless as an empty scabbard without his phalanx to keep him alive, but I move fast enough to compensate for it. And it's nice having a living wall of rusted iron I can use for cover. Ooh, I want you two to train together. I like this. Absolutely not. Our fighting styles are incompatible, and any disfavored lieutenant will tell you not to join at the hip soldiers who can't stomach each other. I'm inclined to agree. If you want to pair up fighters, there has to be some great passion or magnetism between them. We don't have it. <laughs> I'm going to use a little subterfuge here. If neither of you is up to the challenge, then I won't force the matter. <laughs> now see here. Versus temperament and unpredictable ways are an annoyance. But no challenge is beyond my skill. There we go. Verse, we should take some time to face off in the sparring fields. It might even improve our disposition towards one another. I'd rather watch you devour your armor one shaved off spoonful at a time. But since that isn't going to happen anytime soon, I suppose I'll make an effort. Excellent. I like this. I like this a lot. Barrack and Verse have gained a new combo ability. Oh, that's so cool. What is this combo ability? Okay, I need to check this out. So Verse... Verse and Barrack, Arrow Storm. Verse fires several arrows into Barrack's armor. When the last arrow strikes... Barrack roars and the arrows burst out, striking enemies nearby. Very cool. Okay, that's just awesome. Very, very awesome. Alright, I think we're going to end the video here. And uh, we're going to continue again next time. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave me a nice thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. Leave me a comment if you'd like to discuss the, uh, the game so far with me. And uh, please share if you'd like to support my channel. As always, if you'd like to follow me on social media, links are in the description of the video below. So thank you for stopping by. This is the Cyberbard signing off. Until next story.